but as you can see today i'm outside with the vibes or whatever um and i'm gonna just come to y'all with like a sit down talk video like it's not even nothing that i have planned or nothing like i just want to talk about my life and i got some crawfish but yeah i got some crawfish i'm excited because I ain't had no seafood in a minute, but look at that. Like, it just looks so good. So, since I'm finna tear this down, why not tear it down with y'all? But yeah, I just been going in the sit, talk about my life, how I've been, where I've been, what I've been doing. Because y'all ain't been able to. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. And yeah, so. I only got a pound. So this finna smack down. No cap. And I got this blue freezy. Also got some beignets. So but yeah, like y'all literally eat this with me. Chill with me, vibe with me. My dog sitting right here like she getting some, but she not getting that bro. Like I low key don't wanna be in the sun. So I'm so excited to eat this. Like, y'all don't even understand. I haven't had seafood in so long. So, it's just like, damn, like, I finally got some seafood. I went to this place called New Orleans Crab Shack. It's like 10 minutes from my house. Like, it's so good. Well, I don't know yet. I didn't try it, but let me see. Okay, okay. Mmm. It's hitting on something. No, ma'am, Callie. You cannot eat this. But yeah, y'all always get the hottest flavor because. Mmm. It's so fucking good. I hope I'm able to talk because this is so good. Oh my gosh. But yeah, so basically, y'all, it's been a rough 2023, I'll say, because, you know, life happens, stuff been happening. But honestly, like, it's all in how you, like, react to stuff that's been happening to you and how you move and how you move forward and stuff so basically like i just want to say um last month i lost my job i told him my car all that right and like life get hard but like i never felt like i wanted to give up or nothing like i literally just keep pushing i stay close with god like it's just certain stuff like i don't like to go out anymore I don't want to go out no more or nothing because I just feel like my life not together and people who go out all the time, like, no shade to y'all because that's just who I used to be when I was younger, but people who go out all the time to celebrate, like, what are you celebrating? Like, when I'm touching six figures, I feel like there's something to celebrate, like, so basically I've been trying to start, like, different businesses and stuff because, as you can see, like, with my job, like, it wasn't even no, I didn't even do nothing. Like, I went to work. I was late that day, but I went to work. Like, normal day type shit. And my manager is like, today was your last day working here. And I said, for what? He didn't tell me. He just like, you're just not a good fit. So, to me, like, if you could do that to somebody, like, that should give you enough motivation to, like, want to get up and do something else. I don't want to get up and clock in for somebody who could just drop me the next day you know so so i feel like it's all in how you take your steps forward it's all in how you like move and take your steps forward and like i don't think i understand like i really did cut like a lot of people off like life is so much better when you're not worried about other people problems or what other people dealing with because like you already go through stuff on your own so it's like people who sit here on the internet act like they like so good all the time like it's fake like it's so fake but yeah like the internet literally is fake so everybody who i know who just be 
I would party and I'm like, bro, that shit is so fake. Like, their life is not perfect whatsoever. Like, mm. Like, I feel like I really made it in life when I could go cash out on my mom's new Mercedes or some shit. Or when I'm looking at Florida ceiling windows and my high rise, like, like I really want to be, like, bigger than most people could even dream of. So, it's like, I just really watch who I hang around because, like, those people determine, like, where you going to be in life. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm just not the same person no more. I work out five times a week. I'm closer with God. Like, you just gotta take different steps in your life if you want different results in your life. So, that's just how I feel about it. Um, I even had this girl that like, asked me the other day, like, if I want to go to a party. Like, no, no, I'm not going to no party. Like, I'm not going to no party. Like, there's literally nothing to celebrate. So, what am I gonna be going to a party for? Like, no. Oh, people be weird, bro. They don't really be fucking with you for real. Y'all gotta see that shit. I'm so good at reading vibes and feeling energy. Like, that's another thing that I don't fuck with. People don't fuck with you for real. So, the people that y'all be going out with, and they don't give a fuck about you. So, I distance myself from hella people because they don't give a fuck about you. Like, fuck that shit. So, that's just how I feel, like, in general about stuff now. Like, I'm older, I'm grown. I don't have time for, like, bullshit. And I feel like y'all understand that, like. And especially since I didn't, like, pursue the school route, going to college and stuff. I'm not, I don't feel like school for everybody. Like, that was not my way. And, like. You could tell, like, when you get there and it's just not going right for you, like, my grades wasn't good, like, school not for everybody. So, with that being said, I still got to live life and I still got to do certain stuff. And, you know, I still got to do certain stuff and um, make enough money to survive on my own. So, since school not for me, I got to work ten times harder. To get whatever business I want started, all that. <sighs> but yeah, y'all. So that's just how I feel about stuff. Like, even when it comes to guys and stuff, like guys, like dating. I'm not like big on that right now, like at all. Like, first of all, I already don't trust nobody. I don't trust nobody. Like anything a nigga tell me, I don't trust it. So. For me to be dating, like, I honestly feel like men waste your time. Like, they, they get you lower in life. And, no, I'm not saying everybody. Some people have healthy relationships and stuff. But from the people I know or the things I see, like, men bring you down, bro. Like, there's rarely ever a man want to, a man want to, you know, put you on, make your life better, like. I don't need a man, so that's like the last, very last thing I'm worried about, for sure. Like when I, when I, when I'm able to provide, like I want to be the nigga with money, <laughs> like literally, I want to be the nigga with money. Like I literally want to be able to provide for my family without it even being an issue or a problem or nothing, like. I just got so much money that I can do that. But so really it's like I'm trying to find my niche, what I'm good at and stuff. And like what I enjoy to do that's going to make me a lot of money. Because working nine to fives, bro, that's cool and all. But you can't even like afford nice shit with that. Like especially in today's life. It's so expensive. So, y'all, this shit hot. I got fire. He was like, you want 
Mild, medium, hot, fire one, fire two, fire three. I got fire one. Ugh, I'm like, Kelly, you can't eat this. No. Y'all would literally eat this every day if I can. No joke. Like, this shit's so good. I thought I was gonna need two pounds. Like, one pound is enough. Like, I miss New Orleans. Like, they food and stuff. I'm just like, damn, but I'll never go back. That's another thing. Like, get out your hometown, y'all. Like, literally. Moving to Dallas changed my life. For real. My stomach finna hurt. Oh my God. Mm. I can't even talk this shit so hot. Yeah, so moving to Dallas changed my life for the better. I feel like I got more opportunities out here. And like, you just gotta get out your hometown, bro. <coughs> How you gonna do better in life if you think that's all there is to life? Like, that don't make no sense to me. So. You gotta do better. But yeah, y'all, like, just in general, I feel good. Like, even though all that happened to me last night, I still feel good. Because, like, I'm close with God. Like, nothing gonna bring me down. Nothing gonna make me wanna give up. Like, like okay, what's next? Like, I literally can handle anything. And I'm not just saying that. Like, I've been through some shit. So it's like, I don't know. I'm pretty strong in my eyes, but so yeah, I'm working on getting a new car and stuff, and really just chasing my goals. Like even when I hit my goals, I like, keep going. I don't feel like I'm on, I'm only 21, so by the time I hit 23, like I'll for sure be touching six figures. Like no doubt about it. My mindset, like I'm never gonna stop. Like if I'm not touching six figures, like it's a problem and I'm gonna keep going till I am but I don't know everybody life different everybody move at a different pace like you see 18 year olds moving out and stuff like don't follow the crowd like do what you want to do do what you want to do literally do what's best for you like um Stop following off people. Stop leashing off people. Like, everybody who I cut off, not in my circle no more, like, they didn't deserve to be around me, literally. Like, people be holding on to stuff for history, and I hate that, because it's like, as soon as you let that go, you could get the biggest blessing ever, but you'll never know, because you never let that thing go that you're just so comfortable with. Like, people got to get out their comfort zone. You got to get away from that, bro. You cannot stay nowhere because you're comfortable. Like, that's... That's probably the worst thing you could do in life. Literally. I got this shit too hot. Y'all, I haven't had crop in so long. This shit crazy. Never get in fire one again. Fuck no. Can't even eat my shit. But... Usually when I get hot shit, it don't be hot enough, so. I feel like the more I eat it, the hotter it get. Like, what the fuck? I literally heard somebody say, like, being in a relationship at this age is stupid, really. Like. That wouldn't be the exact word or term I use for it, but it just holds you back from a lot of stuff. 
Y'all ever see those people that be like 23 and they be like, oh, I've been in a relationship for like seven years. What? You don't even know, like, what you like. For real. And you just, like, like, every year you grow. So I just feel like there's no way that people stay together that long and still, like, actually like each other. <sighs> no way, Jose. Anyways, y'all, I'm back. My memory card died or whatever the fuck. These crawfish are so fucking hot. I don't know why I got this. Usually I get hot shit and it never be hot enough. So I'll be like, oh, let me actually try that hot shit. But, but I'm almost done. Oh, I think I am done. No, I got one more. <sighs> I ate the eggs and everything already. But yeah, this is something that y'all is not fucking with at all. Like, don't even try it. Last one. Period. Let me put my brightness down. Thumbnail, maybe. But yeah, y'all, um, just in general, I just feel like I grew a lot, so... I wanted to come on here <coughs> and talk about it, period. Like, a lot of people just, I don't know, do the same thing in life and think they're going to get different results. Like, if you want different, you got to be different, you got to move different, you got to think different, you got to pray different, like. And another thing is, like, everybody don't deserve y'all energy. Like, everybody don't deserve your time. Like, I have to teach myself that. Like, everybody just don't. Ooh, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I'm about to eat these beignets. Call it a jizé. Yeah, y'all literally, like, Everything is different. Like, I move different. I just feel better about myself. So, that's what I'm saying. Even though what happened last month happened, I still feel good. And I'm in a good headspace. Like, my mental is never a problem because I'm always on top of it. And stuff. Because, you know, like, things can happen to people and they can just give up. Like, you never know when somebody's last straw is. Y'all, look at this. They feel my things up. You had a choice to get the big ones or the mini ones. I got the mini ones. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all, by 2023, I mean, 2026. I'm going to be rich as fuck. And I'm going to be driving my dream Mercedes car. <laughs> Cashed out. Watch. I feel like too many people are okay with barely being able to afford life. And I'm so not like I wake up every day like, how can I be different? Or what can I do today that's going to put me ahead of, you know, where I was yesterday? It's literally me versus me. That's just how this shit going to be. That's just how this shit going to be, bro. But yeah, um... I'm going to need a new memory card for my camera. Because my memory ain't got it. Mm -mm. Nothing on it. Tomorrow. New day. Go get you some money. But yeah, no, literally. The last thing I'm worried about is. A nigga. Friends. Like, mm-mm. 
And I also learned like how to be alone now. And to actually enjoy it and love it. Like I really do love being alone. Just something about it. Like I realize when I go out and stuff now, I get so annoyed quickly and like I just don't want to be there type shit. So I stopped going out because I realized like I was giving off bad energy to people that, you know, like was just out actually just having fun. But like every single time I go out, like I just want to go back home or I just don't want to be there or like every single like y'all it's a pattern like i realized this the last three times not even out to like no party or nothing just normal shit like one of my friends invited me to go bowling like got there i didn't want to be there like and it's like i know y'all probably think like why are you saying yes if you don't want to be there i be feeling like i want to go but like when i get there i realize like this ain't it like I could be doing something else, so, yeah, just going out with people and stuff, it's just not me no more, like, I just don't, I don't enjoy it at all, so, that's why, like, because I really used to want to move to Houston, like, when I was, like, younger, I feel like I wanted to move to Houston, but people in Houston, like, all they gonna do is party, all I'm gonna do is party, like, that wouldn't be, that's not the life that I want to live no more, so, I don't know. At some point, you just gotta find what make you happy, stick with it, get rich, like, realize everybody ain't your fucking friend, and just go about life. Stay close with God. He got you when nobody else don't, bro. Always pray, always talk to him, like, I don't know, but I feel good about myself, so that's it. I just want to give y'all the word or whatever. I'm done eating this. I'm full. Usually seafood don't even get me full, for real, but I got full off of that. But yeah, y'all, so that's really it for this video. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all want to see more videos like this where I really like it wasn't even no context to this video. It's just me coming to speak my mind and how I feel and me telling y'all about my life and how I move now and stuff. Some of y'all need that. So yeah, but uh, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, my TikTok, at the Rokaje, everything at the Rokaje, y'all already know. And stay blessed. Be kind, treat people how you want to be treated and everything. So yeah. And do y'all like my hair? I did these passion twists. I should have did a video on them, but I'm going to do a video on them next time for sure. Because I got a lot of, I be getting a lot of compliments on these now. And they super, super long. But yeah, y'all. Anyways, until next time. Bye.